Hey everybody, it is Dirk Weekdays and it is Speedy Tuesday, 3510.50, my Speedmaster Reduced, which I love and I wear every Tuesday and lots of other days. I also wear my Rolex Milgauss, the only Rolex I've ever loved. And according to today's news and leakages from the past couple of days, um, I mean, I like the Submariner. I do. I like it a lot. I like. I love the no date. Uh, but that's it for me and my Rolex fascination. Uh, wow. What an underwhelming release this year from the kings of the watch world. I know everybody's got their videos out, and I'm not one of the big guys to go shouting about this, that, or the other. And oh, my God. And, you know, it's just a, just a shit fest of what everybody's saying. But it is a really underwhelming uh, release. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll get into that in a minute. But first, we'll start off with Andrew Wolkowicz, Canadian $5. Everyone, let's enjoy our time as bastards. You bastard. You bastard. Be a patron if possible. Hey, that would be great. And upvote, share, and subscribe. Uh, Paul and I were talking about earlier today about um, once we get... The, the elephant on our back, off our back. Uh, we're going to take a little trip to Italia and start actively looking. Because uh, it's... <sighs> hey, man, we're all getting older. And uh, there's a couple of things we saw that we like. And it'll probably be gone by then. But, you know, summer. Um, and, you know, visit the big guy. Because Venice is my happy place. And... Uh, it always makes me, I always feel incredibly blessed every single time I, uh, I haven't entered by train since the very first time I got there. And it is the best way to get into Venice, to come into Santa Lucia off the, the, this long, 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 long bridge that takes you from the, the, the land side, which is called Mestre. You go from there over this long bridge. And if you ever saw this old movie with, uh, Catherine Hepburn called summertime, it opens up with that. And it's just fantastic. And it, you really get to experience that. And you see, you know, uh, Piat, you see the, the, the city, you see all the, you know, the stuff that's in San Marco, you can see them from far away. And it's really thrilling. If you haven't been, please go. Uh, and, uh, I'll let you guys know when I'm going. So maybe we could all meet up there and have a drink, have a spritze and it would be fun. So Andrew, thank you so much. And for that, let's give you a gong, bang, a gong, get it on. Boom. reminds me of that queen song what's the queen song that ends with a big gong uh my brain sometimes is leaving me one of their big songs ends with a gong and it's is it is it uh is it being in rhapsody it might very well be i haven't listened to that song in 800 years ray ray's having a terrific tugging tuesday by myself wearing my bull of a parking meter you bastards you're a bastard from the west 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 far west of ireland nick sisto nick sisto good evening all good to see you angelo minichello all the patrons are here look at this man nice 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 thank you fellas all and don't forget the gas man he takes your blues away he's our latest patreon the gas man thank you so much dean says oh angelo says hey all hope everyone is great us too me too especially dean says watches and wonders can any normal person afford any of the new rolex models apart from the new rolex gmt well first of all you won't be able to get that and i was trying to come up with a cool name for it because it's blah you know, the old old one was a Guinness, and this one's a flat Guinness. I don't know. Uh, it's just gray and black. The Beetlejuice. I don't know. There's got to be a name for it. It's just like, I don't know. Uh, who cares? Who cares? Uh, it's a lot of who cares. 
is a lot of gold. Rolex is, you know, Rolex figured out when they started pre-selling uh, pre selling their pre-owned watches at the at the gray market. Uh, oh, they should they should call it maybe the gray market GMT, <laughs> the gray market. <laughs> that might be funny. Um, you know, when they realized that they could get the money, they realized that people just have ridiculous amounts of money. You know, one percent of people, and let's make everything in rose gold or solid gold, a solid gold bluesy. That's what I want. Nobody's going to be able to afford that, but James Cameron, and he'll have one on his wrist before anyone. Travis Watts, grateful to be able to follow the live. Show. Hey, we're grateful you're here too. Live, live, live. It's Tuesday. It is Speedy Tuesday. Cheers, everyone. Cheers to you. Dean also says Tudor have done it again this year with their nice choice of new watches. You know, every single year uh, they're the same company, uh, but the creative powers that be at Tudor seems to seem to just want to put out more interesting products. Yes, they would like more of the market share, but yes, they're part of Rolex. So yes, they are part of a, a nonprofit organization. But it seems like Tudor just comes out with more interesting stuff. It's just that they're Tudors. You know, and there's that guy that has five thousand dollars in the bank, and then there's the guy that you know has unlimited credit or whatever, and he wants the R O L E X on his watch. You know, do you think people feel that way when they get a Rolex, especially one of the models that apes one of the more famous Rolex models? Do you think they feel a little um, SDS? Because it's not Rolex. What are your thoughts on that? I'd like to know. Carolyn Martin. Finally, she's on time. Great to see you, Carolyn Martin, on the chat. Hi, my name's Sir Kennedy. I'm your host. It's I Bashers, and our friend Carolyn Martin's here. Good to see you, love. And she says, Yes, Dean, they have. Yeah, she does. She's the girl with the wrench. Travis says the Black Bay 58 GMT is compelling. Let's have a look at it, too. I'll pull that up. Let me go to Tudor. GMT and uh, I'll just pull that up for when I go through the Rolex shit. I'll go through that really briefly because I don't, you know, really give a shit. Uh, and I guess a lot of you don't either because one, this show is barely about watches. It's, it's it's about you, me, and everything in between. And that's more than interesting. Chris P says, do you change straps on your Speedy? You know, I do. And here's my beautiful Omega travel pouch, which I love. And inside it is uh, for summertime. I've got my driving strap which looks really great on it and i i'd like to get a couple of more straps for my speedy because i love love absolutely adore my speedy i love it i love it i love it you know the uh i would like eventually the next watch that i definitely get will definitely be the um 60th anniversary speedmaster because i've always wanted that um because i love the ck2915 and you know it's got the you know updated updated everything you know it's better better machining you know all that stuff you know the movement i mean of course i'd love a three to one movement but you know that's not happening anytime soon uh it's got 1861 that's fine i like it but yes i do change my strap to that one i haven't done it since last summer but i think that the speedmaster looks really great on leather or rubber i wouldn't mind rubber i wouldn't mind to put rubber like green rubber on my milgauss i think that would be sick and i think i would like to do that i'm gonna look into that see who makes one uh rolex probably doesn't have one that'll fit that right or do they? Chris Peel says, is glad here. I got here. We're so glad you got here on time. We're so glad. Hey, Christian Coleman. Thumbs up. Thumbs up right back at you. God, my arms look so hairy today. Wow. Jesus. I'm wearing a t-shirt. I usually wear long sleeve shirts. Dean says, Carolyn Martin. Everyone loves the girl. She's the girl of the show. She's Carolyn Martin. Where is old watch lady, by the way? Anybody know? She used to watch the show. I, 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 like, we love you. What happened? I love looking at your watches. I did a whole show dedicated to her, and I'm just worried. Is Does anybody know if she's okay? I just would love to know because every once in a while she'd chime in, and, you know, she's got the craziest collection I think I've ever seen in my life. It's every brand, every model. You name some crazy watch you've always dreamed of, she has it. Uh, I hope she's around. I hope she's well. So if you're listening uh, from far, far away, Oh, watch lady, we miss you. Come back. Come back to the family. Tom Voss is in the house. Vasilios P, good evening, Dirk and all. Good evening to you. See, look at him with this Tudor GMT. Look at that. Looking quite fine. Rufus. Ah, he's calling the new GMT the Dark Knight. I think that might stick, my friend. 
uh tom voss what happened with the landlord uh email me at the following location basherdirk at gmail.com because i'm not talking about it on the show anymore because one it's ridiculous and two i was told to shut up so i'm gonna ah uh, yep 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 uh carolyn martin says come to venice in august i will buy you are you going to be in in venice i've been to uh venice in august a few times and it's hot 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 hotter than hot but it's good hot because you have the sea there and it's lovely um you buy me a drink i'll buy you a drink i would love to sit in a piazza with you carolyn martin and just shoot the shiite i would love it Dean says, a Dirk, age is just a number. I know, listen, it is just a number, but, you know, I don't want to be, you know, too old to enjoy being fun and youthful, <laughs> you know? Because there's nothing worse than, like, when when you, you really look and feel like an old man and you start act, you start wearing Hollister. You ever see, like, these old guys? They just look like a bunch of old queens, and they have, like, they're, yeah, they go to the gym, and they have, like, the Hollister shirt on or uh, Abercrombie and Fitch. I wouldn't even be allowed in that store. I remember walking past one of those Abercr I was in DC many, many years ago. And I was a, I was maybe in my early 40s. And um I walked past the Hollister store and there's like this 19-year-old muscle boy and this 17, 18-year-old gorgeous swimwear model. And they're just like, everyone come in. And then they look at look at everybody who's over 25 and they're just like they ignore you like you're invisible. Age appropriate clothes, people. You can be stylish and act your age. Remember that. We usually do that on Watch Fashion, please. The lovely Michaela feeling a little bit under the weather this week. So everybody send a shout out to the beautiful Michaela Duchetillon because she's just a little bit under the weather. And we hope she comes back uh, bigger, better, and smarter and more beautiful than ever. I don't even know if that's possible because she's all those things. Uh, Dean. Oh, Andrew Wolkovich says, sounds amazing to enter Venice by chance. Oh, Andrew. It's a movie. Watch the movie Summertime with Catherine Hepburn. It's a David Lean film. So, you know, I mean, he he directed some of the greatest films ever made. It's just, he, he loves to do train long shots. I think they're in every single movie he's ever done. Um, like Lawrence of Arabia, there's that great train. Almost all the train does Shivago, blah, 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 blah. Um, which is a hard, horrible movie for a man to watch. It's just not a, it's not a watch for guys nor gays. It's just like, bleh. so painfully boring, that movie. Um, I've tried to watch Dr. Zhivago 800 million times because I know it's great. I know it's amazing. And I need to watch that movie. And I just don't know what the, what, what the problem is with me. Uh, uh, doctor, how do you spell that? Z-H-I-V-A-G-O, right? Dr. Zhivago. Yeah, it's a very impossible movie to watch. David Lean, though, I love him. So in the film, Catherine Hepburn, she's like a frumpy old, older. She's not even old then, but she was always kind of frumpy. And uh, she's on a train and she's taking, she's a teacher. and She's on, you know, uh, summer break. And she's got one of those old kind of filmy cameras, you know, that you wind up and like a brownie. And she's looking out the window as the train glides over the, the trestle bridge and it goes into uh, Santa Lucia Stazione in Venice. And it's just, it's just an amazing. If you've never been there, it's a great introduction to it. Um, I saw that movie long before I ever went to Venice, and uh, it was just like it. So I got to say, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Uh, hopefully, one day, Andrew, you and I will lift a gorgeous spritze in Venice too. Melly C, hey, Melly C, good day, Dirk. Hope you're well. She's my twinsie. She has the the Milgaus with the black face, and uh, you know everybody loves the zebu, but we love the black face. And her kitty cat is so pretty. Paul Cullen, only been in Venice during the day, twice. Need to experience an, uh, of an evening. Yeah, you know, uh, so Venice has a big problem with day trippers, as you probably, as you were, I guess. Um, and, it, and it's because it's not you in particular. It's certain people in particular that just go there to just kind of loiter around and litter and do stupid stuff. And I'm sure you went there and saw as many things as you possibly could. Uh, but there are people that go there, don't spend any money, don't go for chiquetti, which is like an afternoon snack or little spuntinos or things like that. 
uh, to, to, to stimulate the economy of the city. And they, you know, they banned the ships. Now the big ships have to go to the port all the way on the other side. So they can't come into the big lagoon in front of Piazza San Marco and the Doge's palace and stuff like that. And, um, which is great for, for people like Rasheen and people who live there because, you know, they have problems with flooding and erosion and that stuff is, that city was not made for these, you know, 1200 foot vessels to come in there and just displace all that water. It's just, and then you get shit loads of people coming off the boat. They go off the boat. Uh, maybe they go to like, you know, the Louis Vuitton store and it's French. Why would you buy Louis Vuitton in Venice? All right. So Gucci and, Bottega and whomever else, Fendi, buy all the fancy shit in Venice, which is a ripoff. You, you get it cheaper elsewhere, and then get back on the boat and take off. So um, I urge you, Mr. Cullen, next time you're planning a visit in that vicinity, stay overnight, stay two nights, and I guarantee you the experience will be magnificent for you because the things that the beauty that Venice offers you at night is unparalleled. The way the lights hit the water. And there's a special sunshine there also. I don't know if it's just its position on the planet Earth, but the way that the golden sunlight hits the city of Venice uh, and reflects all the gold, the whole city seems illuminated in this beautiful gold patina it's absolutely beautiful but as the sun goes down it even gets even more magnificent uh so i urge you to do that stay on the lido that's even that's even a lot of fun too because you get the best of both worlds but i i urge you to do it vaughn says gong ending is br <laughs> what does that mean bro i don't know what's br abbreviates i don't know them all Andrew Wolkowicz, if I come into any lottery money, I'm definitely going to Venice. If I come into any lottery money, you're going to Venice too, my friend. Uh, hey, if I win the lottery, I'm taking all the bastards to Venice for a trip. And we'll book out like the dumbest hotel, like the Gritty Palace or, you know, one of those. One of one of the favorite, my, the Excelsior, one of my favorite haunts there. Carolyn Martin, they're calling it the Bruce Wayne. Oh, who are they? Oh God, there's always going to be the conoscenti who are, who are like, uh, what are we going to call it? What are we call it? I mean, it'd be funny if, would anybody get the credit for it? You know, somebody's going to say it and then somebody's going to roll with it and then everybody's going to roll with it. And one person will never get any credit. Isn't it funny how we name all these things and the Hulk and the Batgirl and stuff? I don't know. I just think it looks like, uh, let's see. I want to call it the manhole. How about that? Because <laughs> it looks like a manhole cover. You know how it's got like the different colors on the sides, the old ones. Facilios P, he loves the new Tudor. Uh, let's take a look at that. Why not? Let's have a look. Let's look at the Tudor. This is this says, this is the watch we've been waiting for. They put out a Coke. Everybody wanted Rolex to have a Coke, didn't they? They all wanted that. And Rolex just couldn't do it. Like uh, it's like Apple. Apple is always giving you something that you almost want, but not exactly what you want, which is such crap. And it's going to be videos, which I don't give a shit. There you go. Look at that. It's beautiful. That's a beautiful watch. You know, it's got. I wish they would get rid of those nibs on the on the bracelet, though. You know, it's an oysterish bracelet, oyster esque bracelet. Uh, you know, look the way Rolex finishes it. Like you know, let me pull mine up. Let me pull mine out. And, uh, you know, it's like the way that they do it. Let me get that off, that off the screen. That's beautiful. That's what, Ro that's what Rolex should have been. You know, the way they, they do it with the screws is just so nice. And there's no protrusions at all. So it's just so, the be it's so smooth. I mean, is there anything silkier? It's just so, I mean. You know, it's silkier. I believe it or not, this is the silkiest bracelet I've ever put on. I, I guess it's more like a president or, you know, like the Rolex bracelets, uh, Jubilee. I've tried those on too, and they're very, very silky. But the Oyster bracelet is, is fantastic. The two doors just got a little cut. They just stop it with the nibs. They're ugly. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like them. Uh, great. Dean with the three pound 99 super sticker. Oh. And believe it or not, that will buy you an entire spritz in Venice, just not in the piazza. Anywhere on the side streets you want a spritz, it's going to be three euros and three ninety nine. It's like six fifty. So believe me, uh, 
it's amazing what you can get cocktail wise over there. It's crazy. Well, Rufus, I enjoyed Sunday's rock church show with the OC. Didn't you? I did too. I might not have shut up enough. I should probably let that smart guy speak a little bit more, but you know me, I'm a wired maniac. Um, it's caffeine and diet Coke. That's my life. Um, I had quit drinking diet Coke before Laverne left me. And uh, it was just a coping mechanism. So I, I will eventually quit that shit again. It wasn't an issue. I didn't care anymore. I was drinking seltzer and it was fine. And um, But I will. But it was just, you know, I don't know. It, I, it, you know, I guess it's like hitting the bottle. I hit the bottle of Diet Coke. Rufus, $1.99. Thank you so very much for that. Let's give you the triangle of trash. Who doesn't love the triangle? I love it. Um, RP 1960, $4.99. Looking forward to time in Venice in September. What a beautiful time to be in Venice. It's right after the big heat, right when after Augusto and everybody's back and the city is full of the people who live there. I mean, we were there last time I was in Venice was actually, I think, two years ago already. Would it be three years? How crazy is that? Me and Dana and Emmett O'Malley and Paul, we all went to Venice to go hang out with Ush. And uh, we had a great time. It was hotter than hell. It was hotter than hell, as O.C. would say. In his best Paul Stanley voice. Um, we're going to get Venice hotter than hell. And it was hot, but it was beautiful hot. And uh, the city was quiet. The, yes, there were tourists, but it wasn't crazy. It was actually not bad. We were there at the very end of July, the very early of, uh, very beginning of August. And then we went from there. And then we went down to the La Marque and spent a couple of days there. And then came back for another day and a half to spend with Ush. And then jet away to places unknown. RP, for that, we're going to give you this. Doesn't it sound like that? If you if you're into the whole Buddhist shebang, Carolyn Martin, the girl with the wrench, with ten U.S. dollars for the super sticker. It's a super sticker worthy of a. That's a huge super chat from Carolyn Martin, the girl with the wrench. Hey, Paul Cullen, super sticker. Hey, Paul, and welcome to the show. And welcome to the show. OC fucked me up so bad. There's all these kiss references. The Sheen's going to be like, stop talking about kiss on your show. <laughs> I said, name kid three kiss songs. And he's like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, man. You know, like, listen, my my mother's idea of pop music was the uh, the Irish Rovers. And uh, Tommy Makem. Me father, he was orange, and my mother, she was green. Oh, this is the biggest mix up that you have ever seen. Me father, he was orange, and me mother, she was green. That was Pop Tar. And she's like, oh, the Beatles and Elvis. That stuff, oh, it hurts my brain. Terrifyingly bad. A super sticker for that. You get the big gong. Thank you, Paul Cullen, and welcome to the show. Um, fantastic. Then we got Hans Niesenhaus, Rubber B Rubber Biscuit. Uh oh, Everest is a good name. I like that too. I like that too. I like that. Uh Melly C says, Oh, watch ladies, watch collection is simply but where is she? Is any I've heard no intel on her whatsoever. I mean, she still posts on Instagram, and I go, heart, 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 heart. Heart. I just, you know, I think I think the watch community misses her. That's all I think. Travis Watts. I don't use Instagram much, but the owl is active over there. I know. Yeah, she I just, yeah, she is. She's very. She and listen, she's never going to repeat watches. She's like the queen. She never wears the same thing twice ever. It's unbelievable. Uh, Gem Hater turned fifty nine yesterday. It sucks. You know what I'm going to give you for that? It's not a super chat, but you know what? Is that how you feel, Jim Ader? Is that how you feel? Hey, June, come June, I'm in the same boat. 
come June, I'm in the same boat. That's going to happen. It happened to you. It'll happen to me. It happened to you. It'll happen to me. Uh, Topes just says, hey, everybody's talking about the Everest. Everest straps. Yeah, they make rubber straps for Rolex. I will look at it. I would love to have like, you know, would that be terrible to say I want a Rolex strap, but they're probably so prohibitively expensive. Wouldn't it look great though? A green, like a, a matchy green uh, rubber bracelet rubber is he even a bracelet i guess it is rubber bracelet for the for the mill gal i think they look good uh M melly c says nothing worse than a ram dressed as a lamb i i think that's true hands knees and toss says okay i've said this a million times my personal opinion and i have no horse in the race i just look at beauty for what beauty is and i think julie christie was the most gorgeous woman i've ever seen in my life she was just un fathomable in in that film she's she was just such an well she still is a, she's an older beautiful woman she's carried uh, her her beauty over with uh, with uh, grace and elegance um you know listen it's easy for us to fall apart she just didn't she's absolutely great uh love her and omar every girl loves omar they sure do uh let's see let's see Okay, I just want to make sure I got everybody in there before we go look at a couple of Rolexes and talk about what a snooze frickin' fest that is. Uh, I don't think I am um, exaggerating in any way, shape, or form. I just think it's just such a snooze fest. And let's start at the top. Okay, it's a harmony of contrasts. So here we have the GMT Master 2. It's echoing emotions. I don't know. It just looks like they were like, couldn't decide on a color. Couldn't decide. Should we make a Coke? Should we, what should we do? Should we make a Sprite? Should we make a Dr. Pepper? What do we do? And then like, add. Ah, let's just forget it. Just put it out black and gray. Cause it's really, I mean, the black beauty was so much more handsome or the Guinness was so much more handsome. And this is, you know, there it is. It's got the green GMT hand. So, you know, it's in the same boat, the green writing. Okay. Disappointing. Uh, day date. So here's the new... Carolyn, I'd be interested to... Since you're such a day date kind of gal. I mean, I think that that bracelet is so sexy. I mean, I think the president bracelet's beautiful. I mean, it looks like a rose gold Wimbledon with a black sunburst dial. Okay. I mean, it's pretty. Uh, the nobody's rose gold looks as, as beautiful as Rolex's. That's a fact, Jack. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful color, you know? What do you guys think of that rose gold? I think the rose gold by Rolex is just absolutely. I think they're, whatever combination of alloys they use to produce that, uh, yeah, it's totally true. Um, yeah, all right, yeah. This is the most beautiful thing they put out, the Guyot uh, 1908. I mean, that dial is breathtaking. This watch is gorgeous. You know, on watch, we'll talk about this on Watch Fashion Police, I'm sure. I'm sure Michele de Chatillon will say, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautifully executed. Look at it on that leather band, the deployant. Beautiful. That dial is just magnificent. That's something you would see, like, on, you know, old, old Omegas. <laughs> Or, you know, um, you know, maybe Langer, one of those brands. And then here's the big one. This is the big one. It's a pound of steel, a pound of gold on the Rolex Deep Sea. This is a watch that James Cameron will absolutely be wearing. It's the James Cameron in yellow gold. Uh, no diver will ever wear that watch because they just won't. Because why would that, why would you wear that watch to the deep sea? <laughs> it just makes no makes no sense to me to put all that technology into a watch that no one will ever dive with except for James Cameron and he'll be in one of those submersibles. Submersible, 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 submersible. Uh yeah, so blah blah blah. And then uh because all the ladies are wearing the Daytona, uh they decided to bling it the out. And here it is bejeweled very beautiful execution because, of course, Rolex factory diamonds are just outstanding. It's better than any bust down Jacob Jeweler Bronx, 
you know, Brooklyn shit you can get, which is what most people do. They go to see Tony or Juan and they hook him up with some, you know, grade Z diamonds. Rolex, you know, gets the best diamonds in the world and they do it beautifully. This is you know, beautiful jewelry. Execute great. Uh, who's going to wear that? I mean, nobody cares about Ellen anymore. She was canceled. So nobody cares about her. Uh, who else? What other ladies are wearing Daytona's? Like everybody, right? So who's going to be wearing that first? I guarantee you it'll be a female rapper. Like, let's say Cardi B. She'll be the first because, you know, it's gaudy. And then, of course, there's the Sky Dweller. Rolex is, you know, most complicated watch since 2012. And here it is with like, that's, you know, full rose gold on rhodium. Is that what that is? Let's see. That's what it looks like to me. Oh, it's yellow gold. Okay. It's yellow. I don't want to play the video. I just want to see what they say it is. 18 karat yellow gold. It would have been nice. Okay. And a white dial. Oh, and oh, Ever Rose as well. Oh, it does come in that. Yes, I was right. So it is pink gold. I don't like the word pink gold. It sounds dirty. That dial is beautiful, though. I love the underside of the present of the Jubilee. It's beautiful. Really? That, yeah. Rolex's site is very sexy. Omega site looks like it was built in 1985. Okay, so we got the 9002. Okay. Oh, is that open? Can no, is it? A no, it's not. Yeah, they're just showing you the movement. Uh, no open case backs, huh? They got rid of the Le Mans. That's not even in the catalog anymore. So that's it, huh? That's it, except for the Cellini. That's the only open case back watch that they have. Well, I think in all in all, what an absolute snooze fest from hell. Um, let's see. Uh, Dave says, you have a hard on for the Al. I just always thought she was a wonderful uh, addition to to the chats. You know, she's not here. I don't know. I'm I'm just I'm just voicing concern. If anybody knows if she's okay, send me uh or or oh watch lady, send me a message to basherdirk.com just so we know you're okay. Um, you know, haven't don't hear from you in a while. Just just say hi. That's all. Nothing more. Nothing more. Nothing more. Um, where are we? Uh, oh, Paul Cullen's going to Ischia this summer, but maybe a long weekend in Venice with the good lady later this year. I've never been, never been south of Rome. Been to Italy a hundred zillion times and never been south of Rome. Um, I'm dying to see Napoli. I know it's a total shithole, uh, but it's a beautiful shithole full of history and, uh, amazing food and apparently the best coffee in the entire world at Gambrunus. I would like to go there. I'd like to have the real San Marzano tomatoes. Uh, I'd like to see a lot of stuff. And I've always been fascinated ever since I watched my brilliant friend, which was a great series on HBO. Um, and uh, they've summered in Ischia and there was a star cross lovers kind of thing that went on there. Ischia being the second largest Island uh, off of Italy, Sicily being the biggest and it's right just North of Capri. So I've always wanted to, and I, you know, like, I don't think I can go to Capri anymore because it's so touristy and Mariah Carey lives there in gross. Blech, blech, blech. Uh, Mike Lewis says the 1908 nice blue guilloche with platinum was one of my favorite. Yeah, it's beautiful. No, I mean, that's for me, the most beautiful thing. That's gorgeous. The rest of it is like, <clears throat> what? I mean, it's just so boring, you know, like they do that. They do that. That's the real problem. They do that. And they put out nothing. And Omega put out the Swatch and Omega put out that. And everybody and their mother's trying to buy it. You know what I mean? And people will be able to afford a $310 watch. And it's, you know, got a battery, but it's got Snoopy on it. And we're all suckers for Snoopy. And, uh, you know, it's it's a Speedmaster, but it's not. <laughs> so that, once again, Omega, this time, well, we're both Omega and Swatch. They usurp Rolex for, be, for, for resting on their laurels and sleeping on the job. <clears throat> I asked Asheen earlier today, I said, when's the last time they came out with a new watch? And it was the Sky Dollar 2012. That, they haven't made a watch since then. I mean, they should put out something. Or, you know, like nobody cares that the, you know, all right, the Air King got a different case and the Milgauss got discontinued. 
uh, like I don't give a shit that it was discontinued because I'm never selling my Milgauss. That will never, I'm never going to sell that. I've wanted that watch forever and ever and ever. And now I have it and I love it. I'm so grateful for it. And I just don't do that. I will, I don't flip stuff. Um, I love this watch. I absolutely love this watch. I love it and I will never sell it. So, you know, it could be 50 grand and, you know, I'll go flip burgers before I have to sell my, my Milgauss. That's just, that's just me. So all of that hubbub, and this is the watch that everybody's going to buy. It's crazy, right? Dean says, Andrew, watch out for pickpockets on the Venice train stations. You know, listen, I mean, I'm from New York and I, you know, I know a couple of things about the subway and, you know, I, I have got my radar up and, um, I remember the first time I went to Italy in like the nineties with Paul because he's Italian and, um, you know, he's, you know, spent his childhood in, in the Marche and speaks full in Italian and all that shit. And, you know, and I said, I'm so worried about the pickpockets. And, you know, he was talking about the Zingare and they do exist, but listen, they exist in every, every train station in the world. You go to Milano and the train station is, it's the most beautiful train station you'll ever see in your life. It is colossal. It is incredible. It is one of the most beautiful things, but there's a shitload of skanks hanging out outside. Uh, and here's a funny little quickie. So we were staying at the Bulgari, which we called the Vulgari. And uh, we were staying there because my mother-in-law uh, has a job where she has deals on hotels and she, I went, I went with my in-laws and she got us, she booked us there. Was not a great hotel. The great hotel in, um, in Milano is the Principe di Savoia. Incredible. And, um, I stayed there the last time I was in Milan and I've always wanted to stay there anyway. So we went out for drinks and we went to dinner and we had a couple of glasses of wine. So Dirky poo is a little tipsy poo. And, uh, we, Paul wants to go take pictures of the train station and we go all the way down from the hotel to you know, down like the Della Republica. And we're walking all the way down to the train station, taking pictures all over the place, all over the place. And there's like all these, you know, international house of scumbags, uh, just sitting around and, uh, doing all kinds of nefarious things, cleaning their feet and just, you know, stuff that's not good. And, um, so this guy walks, uh, starts approaching me and I'm kind of cornered and I'm like, Oh fuck. I'm in so much trouble. This guy, oh shit, Paul was off taking pictures of, I don't know what. And this guy walks up to me and he says, uh, and he pulled out a key card and it was my key card for the hotel. And it had, uh, didn't have the number, of the, but it said Bulgari on it and blah, blah, blah. And he goes, eh, albergo, he go, chiave, chiave di albergo. And he's like, you know, like your key to the key to your hotel. And I was like, I looked at him and I went, oh, grazie mille, si, e mi è chiave camera de, de albergo and he's like uh you know I, my time was completely crap then and um uh so i just judged the living shit out of this nice guy so i gave him 10 euros and said thank you very much actually it wasn't i think it was still i think it was still pre-euro so it was probably fifteen thousand lira well, that was like ten dollars back then but just goes to show you that like you know I judged him and I shouldn't have because this guy came up to me and, you know, maybe he was trying to work an angle and get a couple of bucks out of me. But you know what? He had my room key and that was scary. And I dropped it because Dirky Poo was Drunky Poo. Um, oh, funny. Dave F450. Do you think that Julie Christie is not a good actress? What she lacks in talent, she far makes up for in stunning beauty. I don't know. Is she not a good actress? I don't know. Oh, I'd hate to think that. Uh, oh, Bohemian Rhapsody. Yeah, it was okay. BR. Yeah, meh, meh. Yeah, anyway, the wind blows. <laughs> right. Uh, Dean says, Wow, Dirk, you will need to win two lottery draws. You owe everyone a watch as well, dude. If you know what the lotteries are now, like the lotteries here are like a billion dollars. And so, so let's do the math. So it's a billion dollars. You get $562 million after you take the taxes and the payout or whatever, a hundred million dollars. I'm getting everybody a speed master. I'm not going to go get a, does everybody want the, the, want the uh, manhole? I don't know. That's, 
I just think, yeah, everybody would get a watch and, and everybody would get it in Venice. The Bastards, the Bastard, the Bastards lottery trip. I think that would be super, super duper fun, right? Uh, Travis Watts says the Bruce Wayne is a JLC Reverso. Is that already called the Bruce Wayne? See, I don't even know that. I don't even know that. I don't know. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Hey, Jim Lasik's in the room. $4.99. Rolex can be boring with the releases. They've been printing money for years with their typical lineup. Not great for us. Oh, well. Jim, 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 Jim. Totally couldn't agree with you more. They've been printing money and not having to pay the tax man, uh, you know, and funneling it into whatever kind of bullshit charities they do. And uh, I'm not knocking them. They're a great brand. Uh, they're the brand. They're the, you know, listen, there's a lot of better watches out there in the whole wide world, but everybody loves Rolex. I love Rolex. We, you love Rolex. They've been printing with their typical lineup. I just think one bone. How about one big bone? How about just to put out that Coke? Everybody wanted the Coke. You know, it's like um, uh, Tim Cook from Apple. When Steve Jobs was the CEO of Apple, and I'm a total computer nerd, uh, like he would give us stuff that we'd be like, we didn't even know we needed it yet. We'd like, wait a minute, what? And this guy, Tim Cook, he's just been putting out prosumer bullshit, you know, Ooh, more emojis. It, like it, every time your phone says there's an update, go look to see what that. It's not like enhanced security. It's like better emojis for WhatsApp. I don't care. Um, I think Rolex really could have, because last year was a bore fest too, other than the, the introduction of the 1908. They yanked the Milgauss. They kept the Air King. Uh, what else did they do last year? Uh, well, you know, meh. Are they working on something that's so unbelievable that we can't wait till we get it? Is that how it's going to go? I don't know. Thank you, Jim. Let's give you the... Any way the wind blows. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I'm completely lost. Uh, Andrew says, Dean, I'd be happy with an OP. Or, oh, they got rid of the um, Yacht Master 2. Gone. Uh, so for anybody out there that's got a Yacht Master 2, uh, will you moving on up in the gray market? You're moving on up because that's going to be worth money now. Uh, big watch, big, big watch, colorful watch, very unusual. They think the Milgas was unusual. That was a very unusual watch for Rolex. Um, kind of the odd man out for quite a long time. And congratulations, because your watch is now worth more money if you're one of those people that are... I, and I do know a lot... This is what I love about a lot of my folks, because none of my friends are flip, 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 flippers. But what they do do is they have a watch that they bought because they really thought that they would love it. And they hold on to it, and they hardly wear it. And then something's the out that they truly want. So I hope it's the Yacht Master 2 for whomever's out there that has one because you'll get more money for it and now you'll be able to get the watch that you've been dying to own. And I think that's beautiful. That's the beauty of Rolex. The beauty of Rolex is you hold on to it and you take good care of it. You know, it'll be worth a shitload of money and you'll be able, if it's a watch that you don't love, I mean, more than likely you love it because you spent that kind of money on it. And that's expensive. They're expensive. Watches are expensive. They're luxury items. They're luxury. Uh <laughs> earlier paul cullen says the clancy boys got me mom yeah she, my mother loved the clan my dad loved the clan my dad loved old hollywood musicals though i mean my, my dad was probably a closet homosexual uh he loved all the mgm musicals and uh you know in his latter years when i used to go over there and hang out with him uh we loved to watch westerns he was obsessed with uh randolph scott who was so so gay uh, uh, so I'm like, I'm like to my father, I'm like, you know, you know, whose boyfriend he was, right? He's like, shut up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the clan, like my dad's bar, if there was ever music on, it was the Clancy brothers or it was the Rovers or Tommy Makeham. There's all the usual suspects, you know, Del Boy ZA's here. Did I miss anything? Well, we've just been pissing on uh, Rolex for the last 40 minutes. Cause you know, it's <sighs> hold on a second. Oh, sorry. Um, I looked at the other brands. Tudor's definitely making a killing. They're they're doing it up. Um, you know, Patek just refined their collection. You know, there's a couple of interesting things there, but nothing is setting the world on fire. Nothing is setting the world on fire. You know what's setting the world on fire? 
That's setting the world on fire. A $310 plastic watch with a battery. Everybody wants that. One, it's affordable. Two, the black one is way cooler than the white one. I want the black one so bad. Uh, and I'll wear it. Every, I'll wear it all the time. I will wear that all the time. Who wouldn't? It's great. Uh, Dean says, Andrew, I'll make a note. So if it happens, you don't have to remind me. Uh, giving is so much more fun than receiving. It is just, it's a great feeling. It's a great feeling, you know, because sometimes when you receive things, it's, it's so kind and like this show and, you know, I, I don't, I'm not working a job anymore. I'm doing this full time and I'm grateful for all the love and support I get. I love doing the show. It's my favorite time of the day. I look forward to it. I look forward to I I interacting with all y'all and, uh, it just, uh, it, you know, it's been, it's not been so easy lately. And, uh, this has been something that I look forward to because you guys are all the best. Uh, Oh, she was on Instagram today. You're talking about all watch lady. Oh, that's good. Uh, John Doe says, I just emailed you two nice nighttime Venice photos I took just last week. Hey, John Doe. I tried to send a video, but too, sometimes you got to do that um, with Gmail. It does it to like the Google Cloud or uh, like in my world, uh, the iCloud. It's so annoying. First of all, we have these phones now that are, you know, terabyte or half a terabyte. And we take these 4k videos. They take up a lot of space. We're not like my e old email, which I still use for certain things, which is roadrunner. It caps out at five megabytes. So if I want to send something at five megabytes, it, it rejects it. <laughs> so I have, that's why I had to get an iCloud account and a Gmail account, you know, uh, gem hater. Look at that. Very nice. The limey. Glad I got the Breitling B70 as W and Austin was shite. Yeah, yeah. Watches and Wonders is shite. That's a beautiful watch, the B70. I've I've mentioned it a million times. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Blues Dog says, turning worse is 60. That'll be my fate in June. When's your birthday, Blues Dog 64? I'm a June boy myself. What What's the date on your birthday? I'm the 15th. June 15th. Uh, so let me know. So we could have, we'll do a, we'll do a, we'll do a June birthdays, right? We should do a birthday. Everybody should tell us when it's their birthday anyway. So, you know, it's good to know. Good to know when everybody's birthday is. I'm getting a bunch of emails in now with some photos. So I'm just marking them off because we're very close to the hour. We're just going to go through the chats, see what's interesting to mention. And, oh, you want, uh, do you want the Le Carre says that should be made in 43? You think the night, the 1908 should be 43? I don't know. That's kind of 43 is big. How big is your wrist? How big is it, Le Carre? How big is it? Uh, do you have, do you have, can you do, I can't do 43. 42 is anything over 42 on me. 42 looks fine. Uh, you know, like Speedmasters and other things, but anything above 42, because, you know, it's, my wrist is nice, but it's not very deep. Some people have a, like a lot of meat here. I have big calves. I don't have big Popeye forearms, you know, I don't. Uh, sometimes I wish I did. And there's no way to really build up your wrist, I don't think. Uh, and that would be weird if you did. Travis says, they made the deep sea in full gold so you can sink to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> what happened? Oh, my God. Uh, Robert and Bill died. What do you mean they died? Yeah, they, they were uh, they were wading in the water, and uh, they they just got their new Rolex deep seas, and now we can't find their bodies. <laughs> Done. Uh None of the new Detonas have attack meter. Ridiculous. Did I miss that? They don't? That What the fuck is the point of them then? Oh, oh, because they have diamonds on them, right? Duh. Because they're bejeweled. Because they're fashion watches now. They're Rolex fashion watches. The Daytona, ever since Ellen DeGeneres started wearing that, it just became a bleh show, you know? Bob, I can't agree with you more. Dean says the Rolex Pepsi was not discontinued. Just a couple of dates. Just yeah, I didn't say it was discontinued, did I? No, they didn't give us a Coke. Everybody wanted the Coke. They were taught. I mean, you know how many people busted their ass to get Pepsis this year because they wanted to sell it. Isn't that so sucky? That's so sucky. Uh, Andrew says Cardi B will have the Daytona on one hand and, and a sex toy in the other. Hey, it's Cardi B. I'm coming to you from Satin Dolls up in the Bronx. And not only do I have a beautiful diamond encrusted Daytona, but I also have this brand new sex toy, free with every purchase. That's a real show. 
she really did that. There is a new gold Paul Newman. Hold on a second. We're going there. We're going there. Well, I'm going to bring you with me. Is there a new gold Paul Newman? Come on, menu. Uh, Rolex watches. Let's go to. Let's go to the Cosmograph. There it is. Discover more. Okay. That one's nuts. I mean, that thing is so ridiculous. But that's gone, right? <laughs> I'm just looking, I'm looking through it. Oh, configure. Okay, let me do that. That's more fun. That's more fun. Let's let's go configure a Daytona. Is that a ridiculous thing to do? Uh, star start. Okay, right. So we want it in oyster steel, right? Tile. We want. Uh, well, already it's not a Paul Newman. That one. I mean, that's it. So where's a Paul Newman? I need more information. I need more information. Hey, Hudson Harvey. Hey, you haven't been around lately. I have a new lady in my life, but still loving your show. Hey, congratulations on the new love of your life. I'm so happy for you. Everyone deserves joy, Mr. Harvey, and you are certainly among them. Everyone deserves to live life to the fullest and enjoy Every facet this beautiful world has. And you know what? Connecting with another human being is one of the greatest things. I don't know if it's as good as a cat or a dog, uh, but it's good. I've been in a relationship for uh, be 35 years this year, and I'm still not old. Isn't that amazing? 35 years in August. So maybe I'll have to make uh, that trip. And that makes sense. It's 35. We're going to have to do that, right? Uh, that's crazy. Andrew says, Hudson Harvey, congratulations, because Andrew's that kind of guy. Dave uh, F451 says, it's not where you where you stay, it's but who you stay with. Yeah, that's very true. That's very true. Uh, oh, John Doe says, last week when I met Oshin outside Venice train station, I, oh, right, that's right. You just out of nowhere came out of the train station and you're walking around and you bump into Oshin. Isn't that weird? It's amazing. I asked a guy to take a photo of us. I handed him my phone and Oshin said he may run of, of run off with it. <laughs> oh, okay. I think I was a bit star. You were starstruck. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> uh, he's a great dude. You don't have to be starstruck. He's, uh, he's famous, you know, he's famous now, I guess. Right. With the Sheena, I was a bit confused. No, 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 no. He's a, he's a superlative fellow. Uh, as charming as the day is long. I mean, Hey, I love the guy, you know what I mean? It's like uh, we're we're besties, and uh, there's a reason for it. Nathaniel Hannon just got here. Everybody upvote. Look at that handsome mug, you. Thank you, Nathaniel. So nice. It's so nice to have a nat around the house. Does anybody ever call you nat? Or neat, like diminutives. I always notice that Cher, if somebody's name is Rob, she'll always go, well, I was talking to Robert or Marty Martin. Um, some people just don't like to use them, like Jim, Jimmy, Johnny, etc. Nathaniel, it's got gravitas, it has weight. Uh, Ray Ray says, way better fun over at the casino. Oh, at Casio, new releases. I guess... Maybe we'll look at those tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, we just talked about that, kiddo. Uh, you have one, don't you? You don't you, don't you, don't you. Well, you left your yacht master to at the station. And your bank wallet probably won. Because that's, you know, you could sell it now. Do you love that watch? You know, that gold Speedmaster is so you. I think that that's your signature. Christian Bale wears a reverso when the character Bruce Wayne. Okay, so that's the reason why we're calling it the Bruce Wayne. Okay. 
<laughs> Dave, Dave, the Yacht Master 2 is the Edsel. Now everybody wants an Edsel. Everybody's going to want the Yacht Master 2 now that it's gone. You know, everybody started going, I love that Milgos with the black dial. You didn't like it last year. Now it's discontinued. <laughs> My sister says, daddy was not gay. <laughs> I always like to joke about that. I'm like, he was in love with Cary Grant's boyfriend. It's a fact. Randolph Scott. He's like, do me a favor. Uh, find me some Randy Scott. I'm like, Randy Scott. <laughs> That's like, I was talking to Marty Scorsese. <laughs> Andrew says, I was watching a movie once when I was about 10 and had rock cuts and I announced to dad, when I grow up, I want to be like this guy. My dad said, uh, I will look at all the beautiful, look at what all the beautiful girls he has. Yeah, he fooled them all, didn't he? Tall, handsome, and gayer than Christmas, as they say. Uh, oh, my dad said to me, son, that's the point. Those women are just friends of his. <laughs> you know, there was... um. There was a great series of uh, Roddy McDowell, the famous from Planet of the Apes, and Andrew, where's my earrings from Overboard, amongst a million other films. Roddy McDowell, classic Hollywood actor. Um, I think he was in International Velvet with, was he in that? I think he might have been with Elizabeth Taylor when she was a little girl. So he would have been a little boy. Um, he had a beach house on in Malibu, like a, just a little bungalow, but every, I'm talking Ev Marilyn Monroe and Judy Garland and Randy Scott and uh, uh, Bill Holden, every single giant star, Joan Crawford, everybody was there and they would hang out and drink and smoke and do all kinds of shit and make out on the beach. And he, all these home videos he had in his archives were on YouTube. And then the estate pulled them down because they're, I guess they're going to try to package them and make movies. But it was just watching like all these big giant stars having a regular barbecue. You know, just doing real people things and without the glamour, without the makeup, without all the stuff, without all the hair pieces and stuff. Like this one where Sean Connery, it's like 1962, it was probably around Dr. No and no hair piece. And he's just a rugged, handsome guy. And he's there with uh, some floozy because he's probably cheating on his wife. But I mean, it was good stuff. And it's like all these dudes were all gay, Roddy McDowell, the whole gang of them they were. And they just had the most beautiful girlfriends like Julie Christie. Uh, Dave says, Carrie, not that there's anything wrong with that. But um bum psst, psst, with rivets. Uh, and Melly says, because Snoopy rocks. Because we all know you how much you love the Snoopy. But I'm I look, I, I'm keeping my, uh, I actually, I, I made a little deal with somebody. I went past this watch store and I met this guy and I said, well, I do a show, blah, blah, blah. And I really want the black one. Let me know when it's available. If there's any way, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to say which store it was, but uh, he says, I'll, I'll give you, I'll, I'll text you when, like when I know the amount of coming in and I'll let you know, because I want to get the black one. I want it. I want the black one. I'll wear it. I'll wear it a lot. I think it's really, really, really cool. Uh, hey, Tom Rogers, 10 US dollars. My brother and I used to sing the Clancy Brothers in the tub when we were little. I told you my sister used to make me play my husband's shirts. Uh, I'm sure my parents would go to prison for that now. Is that true? Um, I mean, I used to bathe with my sister. Is that like something that's frowned upon now? You're not allowed to do that. I guess there's new rules. New rules because you're what? Exposing. I don't know. So why do people care? What do you care? Who cares? Who cares? How about a big $10 gong? Let's give you the YouTube drop. Thank you so much for that. Uh, let's get to pictures. I'll get to the rest of the, the chats. You could chat. Oh, wait. We got a huge one from Sergeant0331. Hey, look at that handsome mug. I haven't seen that in a while. 1999, January 21st. LOL. So I enjoy the content. I am down to three Rolex, two Omega, and now selling my two Breitlings, Heritage Super Ocean and the GP Seahawk. Oh, wow. I love both of those watches. I'm blessed to have had the opportunity tonight to have worn these watches. You know what? Listen, it's listen. while we're above ground, and I hate to sound like that guy, you know, uh, I have been loving the fucking shit wearing, sorry, I'm cursing, wearing Topster gifted me this beautiful Seiko blue doll. I cannot tell you how many compliments I get uh, when I wear this watch because the dial is glistens is he gonna focus on me today Are you not focusing usually it's been it's been good about focus there it is uh this dial is so gorgeous that it just shimmers in the light and it reflects so beautifully topster thank you so much i can't tell you how much i love this watch it's been uh I've gotten so many compliments and I adore wearing it and I adore you you my right little right wing pundit 
You're smarter than the average bear. Thank you, Sergeant Zero One. Here's a huge super chat for you. That's the mushroom cloud. Uh, I can guarantee you that uh, you won't be buying a Rolex this year. Because was there anything you liked, Sergeant? Was there anything there that you saw? I mean, I mean, other than the 1908 with that guillotine, that blue ice blue guillotine, that thing is beautiful. I mean, it's it's a beautiful, beautiful, crazy, beautiful watch. I have to say, uh, Travis says the new gold Paul Newman. Is there like with the, with the Paul Newman panda dial? Is that is this you guys are talking about this or uh yeah the Le Mans is gone out one year and done one and done that's off and that thing was expensive and waitlisty and it's impossible for people to get that anthony chan hey anthony chan it's an off catalog gold newman what does that mean like like aftermarket like you somebody's jeweler did it i mean frolex isn't making it Hey, Dave, F451, our son's birthday is June 15th. Hey, trying to get our son a no-date sub. That's that's the sub. That's By the way, that's now called the Emmett O'Malley. Sub no-date is officially in the Rolex orbit known as the Emmett O'Malley because that's the watch he lusted after and Asheen gifted it to him. And he's so madly in love with that watch. Like his wife calls me all the time. She goes, he's in love with that watch. <laughs> Uh, Nina says, Hey brother, wish I could get the triangle as a ringtone. Random question. Thoughts on rage against the machine and the singles soundtrack. Well, the single soundtrack was a little too grungy for me. Uh, so, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of that early nineties shoegazer stuff. In retrospect, I look on it now and go, yeah, there's some great singles from that. I mean, like, Chris Cornell was fabulous and uh, blah, blah, blah. So there's some stuff on there. Uh, Rage Against the Machine. Uh, you know, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> that hurt. How does he do that? I, I guess I'll never be putting Zach De La Roca on my, uh, in my Vegas show. I think I just broke a vocal cord. <clears throat> um... Um, and also, what's his face? Um, refresh my memory, the guitar player. He's very noisy. He's a little too noisy for me. People think he's so great. And he seems like the nicest guy. And uh, he said great things at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So I love, 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 love him as a person. And I do like that little cutoff thing he's got on his guitar. So he hits a chord and he goes, dit, 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 dit. And he invented that. It's some kind of kill switch, which I think is very, very cool. So I don't know. Um, I haven't explored them enough for me to say Tom Morello, right? That's the guy. What a sweetheart of a guy. Uh, great looking dude. Looks great with a guitar. He plays that one. What is that? Like a Hamer or a Kramer. It's like a really old beat up 80s guitar that he's worked on forever and ever and ever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, time for the Bastards Gallery. Nina says, uh, great. Now I'm responsible for ending your singing career. <laughs> I've recovered. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do that blah, blah thing. <laughs> I used to do a lot of car cartoon characterizations like, hi, my name is Cubo. But like I was used to uh, doing the things. But I'll be honest with you, the first time you try to use your vocal cords in any completely new way, it's it's not good. Uh, Andrew says, Emmett, you get more beautiful every day. Dana, thanks. <laughs> Emmett looks up from his watch. Sorry, Hilm, what did you say? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that's amazing. So let's start with, uh, oh, here we go. Uh, Nathaniel Hannon on W-I-Bash E-R-S. I got I to gotta perfect that. Nathaniel Hannon on B-S-H-E-R. Too many letters to, to be a call sign from a radio station. I'll perfect it. Don't worry about it. I will perfect it. Nathaniel, Nathaniel Hannon. This is the back of his yachty. It's got a lot of gold pieces. Look at that. Right. Bit of a shamrock there, bit of an Irish fella, aren't you? God, the back of the Rolex. You know, they're the most undecorated watch brand in the whole wide world, except mine. Mine says milk house on the back. Um, that is a beautiful piece. You are truly bejeweled. And I like whatever that pattern is, too, there, Nathaniel. Is that a tablecloth? Looking good. You got a lot of gold watches there, Palio. 
uh, looks great. Thank you, Nathaniel Hannon. Thank you, Nathaniel Hannon. On B A S H E R S. Oh, it's another one. All right, let's look at the front of it. What are you going to do, Nate? Nate, you gonna, Nate Nathan, you're going to sell it now? I almost called you Nate for a second. Because I was like, yeah, anybody ever called you Nat or Nate? Did you answer that? I didn't see it in the chats. Uh, here he goes with his with his yachty. It's a very unusual watch for them. It's very nautical. Isn't it very nautical looking? I'm going to chart my course across the seas with my yachty too. It's a beautiful piece, though. You know, people love them, people hate them. I, I like them. I think they're cool. I can't wear it. It's too big. But then again, Nathaniel and I have the same size wrist, and that actually, I didn't see it on you. Send us, oh, I like your new age picture, picture with it on top of crystals. Did you feel the vibrations? But, but feel the vibration. Uh, feel the vibration. Uh. Well, I don't know if you did. Stop screen share. Thank you, Nathaniel Hannon. Uh, hey, here's Neil. Ready? Let's get this. Oh, look at this. Pictures of Venice at night. Yeah, it's beautiful how they light up all the buildings. It's fantastic. Yeah. Let's blow that up, baby. Oh, I've never been in there. That's the Casino de Venezia. That's all the way up by Canareggio way, right? I've never been in there. But Asheen and I always talk about dressing like James Bond and going there. And there, of course, is the Rialto Bridge. The most famous bridge in the world? I think so. I don't think there's anything more famous than that. Uh, they had to, they had to make some, uh, th there's rules now. Like you can't sit on the Spanish steps in Rome. I think there's rules. You can't sit on the steps here anymore. I don't know. I've met, I've had way many a cocktail, uh, and walked over that bridge. Cause it's really great. It's, you get to go from, you know, the main part of Venice over to the, the, uh, to, I guess that's technically Dorsoduro right over there. Right. Rialto, you come over from Rialto. It's beautiful. I love it. I love that town. I love that town. I love it. And Ray Ray's here. What do you got for us? Oh, look at this. Is that a whale or is that, are you just happy to see me? Is that a whale? That's beautiful. Kerry, he lives, uh, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to dox him and say where he lives, but he lives as far west of Ireland as you can go. We're Westies ourselves from Sligo. Artist Corner, the King of Kinvara, photographer taken by Ireland's great photographer, Paddy Jordan. Wow, that's great. Look at that. Look at the age on that guy. That's a couple of whiskeys, right? And many a packet of fags. Let me tell you that much. Sat at the end of the bar for a hundred years, probably. I love those man on the street style. Uh, hey, Jim Lassick's here. I love when Jim Lassick. Oh, look what he got. What you got for us today, Jim Lassick? Remus. Volstead Reserve. Wow. Is it named after Romulus and Remus? I hope it's not named after Uncle Remus. That would be, you know. But, you know, Romulus and Remus from uh, Star Trek. And look at that. He's wearing his Rolex right there. Beautiful. Rolling Thunder. <laughs> My band had a song called Rolling Thunder that never made it to a record. It's actually, they had it before I got there when they were starting. And I don't know why we never used it. Hey, Jim Bach, you watch the show. Whatever happened to that song, Rolling Thunder? I don't know. And then, of course, and the thunder rolls. Or we like to say in my house, and the jelly rolls. You know what? Garth Brooks and his wife, they're happy. And if they're happy, I'm happy. Thank you, Jim. That looks great. Not a whiskey man myself, but that looks... It's a beautiful bottle. I love the Keystone bottle. Very pretty. Here's Ken. Hey, Ken. What do you got going on here? And the thunder rolls and the lightning strikes. Oh, Universal Genevra. I love their designs. This is Genta too, right? I think Genta did a better job over there. Because, you know, I think that the Nautilus is ugly. I just think that those watches are stupid looking. And yes, I'll take one, but I'll sell it. 
And I'll get like five watches and give a couple of them away. I'll keep one. That's what I do with the Nautilus because I, I wouldn't want it. They're ugly. They ugly, as P. Diddy would say. Well, who's been canceled, right? Because they say he did stuff. I don't know if he did or he didn't. But, you know, you can say anything about anybody nowadays. You know, I know because, uh, oh, you know what Jim Baki didn't talk about when he was on my show last week was that he was signed to P. Diddy's label. He was signed to Bad Boy Records. After Hitman kind of stopped working, he started a power pop band called Fuzz Bubble, and they're great. Their album's amazing. Fuzz Bubble's record is great. Fuzz Bubble. Check it out. It's kind of jellyfishy, Beatles-y, cheap tricky. It's really great. Um, major label record, and they made this record. Then they played on All About the Benjamins, and then he dropped them. And he just said he was, you know, whatever but i i never heard any stories about stuff like that i heard other stories about him but i don't know how true those are there is fergal and his racing and this is great this is the watch that i predicted guys i said there's going to be a run on these so if you can find them on the interwebs i think you should get them i think you should get them because they're beautiful look at this it's got an 861 in it Look at that. Oh, look at you doing the Ashino Mali shots. You, 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 Fergal. Look at that thing. Ugh. I love these watches. That dial is money. That dial is, oh, you have no loom in the dial. I just realized that. The loom fell off your dial. She, I'd get that reloomed because you're never going to sell it, right? Um. So my speedy, right? Here's the deal. It's just you know, it's old. So my loom is shot on this thing, and the, the hands don't do shit. And you're not going to be able to see it, I don't think, because it's green, right? Do I have my... You're not going to be able to see it on my screen, but... Uh, can you see anything on this? Nah, because it's green screen. Um, so the hands are okay, but it dies really fast. So when I eventually go get around to a service with this thing, which I'm going to have to do because the crown... If I if I go counterclockwise, it'll it comes off. So it needs a bit of Loctite in it, and uh, there's a bit of like like I don't know like a little bubble on the corner. I don't know if that was you know uh, I don't know how that happened. Didn't happen on my watch. Just happened. I know didn't didn't notice it until I had a loop. It's very you can't tell on the dial. But if I brought it into them, I might ask for a reloom. I might go full service. I might go for full service at Omega. Why not? Why wouldn't I do that? Uh, uh, and Steve McDonald. Oh, oh, look at these. These are coins. I love this. I love how the Bastards Gallery is everything and you want. Look at that. What are these? What are that? Oh, Project Skylab. These are NASA coins. Oh, my God. These are so sexy, man. Wow. Wow. These are cool, bro. Broham. I love that. Coins are cool, man. What is it? What is the word for that? Pneumonicist? Pneumonicist? When you, you're into... What is the word? It's pneumo something, right? See, I'm not that smart. Um... My sister Carrie says, Daddy had a great trans friend, Shirley. I remember her very well. She used to come into the bar. He loved the gay community. He was 60% of his family. Maybe there's reasons for that. She also says, I love that watch the Tobster gave you. I do too. It was such a surprise and such a lovely thing. Uh, thank you so much for that, dear, dear Tobes. Uh, space coins. I love that, Steve McDonald. Speedy Tuesday and Angelo Minichello, who is a Patreon. I love that you're a Patreon, my friend. Thank you so much because you're a special fella. Look at that. Oh, I love these. These, I'm telling you guys, get these while you can because they're going to new, yeah, new, news minimatics. News minimatics. I, don't know. I can't pronounce that. One time, I'm a hard time reading. Um, beautiful. I love the Mark II, man. I've always been a fan of the Mark II. And uh, I don't know why I don't have one. I should get one. Because they're relatively not the racing dial. That one, you, that one, you're gonna have to pay money for it. Because people want it. Hands, knees, mouth, Hans and Franz. What do you got going on here? Elliot Brown. Great looking. Reminds me of a Zin. Very Zin like. It's very Zin like, but very attractive. The Luma. Can you send us a Loom shot of that, pal? Because I bet it looks crazy. 
I bet you the loom is amazing. I'd love to see the loom shot on that. Thank you. Mark Brown. Mark Brown. Mark Brown. With his Seiko automatic. Look at this thing. Seiko, man, they never fail. I love that NATO. It's very James Bond. Great looking. Seiko, man, their dials. They just... Seiko's been around long enough to compete with the big boys, you know? Forget about the whole Grand Seiko thing. Yeah, those are great, too. Of course they are. They're beautiful. Where they have that, like, papyrus paper dials and those those spring drives. Those things are ridic ridiculous. Um, Angelo Minichiello. Oh, yeah, he sent me the loom. Did I show get to show this on the show? I You know, I don't know. I asked him. He's got the uh, Railmaster XXL. And I said, how about a loom? <laughs> I was like, how, how, how about a loom shot? And he sent me that. Amazing. Because, you know, I love that watch. I love the Railmaster. The un, the, uh, the undisputed, uh, 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 forgotten uh, member of the Omega catalog. I mean, I, it's just like nobody knows, pays attention. And it's I love Railmasters. And the XXL is a very special piece. Without a doubt. Uh, yeah, and that's it. That's all the pictures I got for today. Unless you see some new ones that came in. Did I miss some? I did. There's a couple. So let me get to them. Okay, Rufus has sent me. I don't want to miss out. I don't want to miss a thing. Rufus sent us a picture of his sampler composer. Is this an older device? I mean, I don't know. I just hit record and go la 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 and you have the exact same headphones I have in white mine are in black exact same ones I want the 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 old Bayer dynamic ones that look like I'm in the Beatles that's cool what is that thing you have to tell me cuz I don't know is that a new device some kind of beat machine <laughs> Carolyn Martin. Oh, yeah, pick one, she says. Carolyn Martin, the girl with the wrench. She's Ibash's own back girl. What is she wearing here? Can I blow this up? I can't. Oh, there it goes. Thank you. Pick one. See, I just think that it's more beautiful. I think the black beauty is more beautiful the way it is. I love you just the way you are. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, it was fine the way it was. And then they discontinued it. And now they've got the manhole. I don't know how I feel about that. All right. And the submariner with the cyclops. Uh, looks great with her Rolex box. And then a loom shot. They're, oof. Uh, Carolyn Martin. What are you doing to us here? What are you doing, Carolyn Martin? Looky there. I don't know what kind of watch that is. What is that? That loom is mental. I told you I had a watch like my grandmother gave me when I was a little boy. I have don't I have no idea what brand it was. I don't know where the watch went. I don't know. I'm sure I abused the living shit. It came on a spy Dell, but it had the brightest loom I've ever seen, I think. But I was young, so I don't know. But see, that's like explorer quality loom, but it's green, so it's super luminova. It's not chromalite. Or any of that new fangled stuff. Uh, oh, and Andrew's going to show us pictures of his crystal collection. You got us, Carrie, you should take a picture of your crystal collection. My sister's got every piece of Waterford that's ever been made. Pretty much. Like all the collections. Very nice. You can have a decanter. Make a nice, have get a, get a nice Chianti decanted or a nice Bordeaux. Very nice. Wow. There's so many things to collect in this world that make us happy. And everybody should have what makes them happy. That's important. What's most important is that you should collect the things that make you happy. You know, that's just how it should go. Because, you know, we we go around in life buzzing around working and, and not taking care and not paying attention to the ones we love. I know you all do because you're the bastards. And, you know, that's just how you guys roll. Um but, you know, I think, you know, get what you want, you know, because they're just things at the end of the day. They're luxury items. I have too many guitars. 
I only have a couple of watches, but you know, uh, I'm not, I'm not the biggest collector other than the ridiculous amount of guitars that I have. It's because I don't ever consider selling anything either. Um, I mean, I guess if I had to, I would, but I would like to not to Sergeant zero three, three, one, another $10, nothing new from Rolex lineup, but it's a toss up between the Hulk or Coke fat lady. Okay. So you're going deep, deep. I'd rather pay gray market than deal with the AG. So would I at the end of the day, because I mean, it's nice to have the ceremony and go in there and hopefully get the glass of champagne and have them lick your arse a bit, right? Because they should, because obviously you've been on the list and you finally, they call you up. I call you up, ba, ba, ba. it's just a silly Coke you're getting through. Do, 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 do. It's not a Coke, no, no. Kerry says, no. Oh, I got to give you the Big Bang. You get the mega. Good chat. Say a prayer if you get. Uh, where were you? I hate when I come back to the chats. It doesn't put me where I left off. And it should. And it doesn't. My sister says, no, that was Mickey Rooney. Okay, Mickey Rooney. Uh, I forgot the Hey Penny Bridge. I didn't. I mean, that's a famous bridge, but. I, I guess it's so famous. I completely forgot about it. Uh, please tell me that they took all the locks and shit off that bridge. Cause last time I was there, it was a mess, an absolute mess. Uh, Andrew says, Oshin should trademark the watch on the table in Venice. <laughs> yeah. The watch on the, the watch on the rocks, watch on the rocks. Ain't no surprise. Oshin's got a copyright. And he'll take you to court. <laughs> if you don't be a sport, take that watch off the rocks when in Venice. Uh, numis, numis, no, numismatics, numismatist, right? If you're, if you're into what, into, or is that stamps? Coins is what? Now that's a philatelist. Uh, stamps is a philatelist. You're a philatelist. I think he's a philatelist. <laughs> Ricky Gervais should do a joke about that. He's he's a philatelist. <laughs> Scotty H, Lord H is here. Show off. Who's showing off? Um, uh, Scotty H, it's Lord H to everyone. Lord H, Patreon and statesman, spokesperson, elderman. Carolyn says to Dave 451, where are you located? I might be able to help you out. Get a sub from AD. Because that's the girl with the wrench. She make your dreams come true. 343. You got to go to the Grand Prospect Hall. Uh, the 10cc Rolex, right? Uh, I just saw a video of them. Uh, do, they're on tour and everything was on tape. Sad but true. Travis Watts, $10. Hey, you get a super bang. Yeah. <laughs> just wanted to hit them all because that's what i was feeling at the time <laughs> uh dave says born and reared as in irish you'd say reared <laughs> reared in miami like the word f-i-l-m irish people can't say it they call it film <laughs> and I, I was i was reminded of that <laughs> there's a lot of funny things because you know <laughs> There's no TH in Irish either. You know, it's turd or, you know, uh, my grandmother, uh, she'd be like, oh, the camera needs film or I'm going to the shops. I'll put some plastic film on it. And uh, um, I was just watching this one woman I, that I like to watch on the YouTube when I'm ever I'm baking Irish goods to make sure I'm not screwing it up. <laughs> And she goes, oh, just put a piece of film over the top. <laughs> it just reminded me of being in my grandmother's kitchen. And she had these horrific hard plastic straws. They were just, and they tasted bad. She had like reusable straws and they were gross. And we would be like, Ugh. she would give us like a start or a, she'd give us some, some weird fruit juice, like Hawaiian punch or vitamins, vitamin, whatever vitamin drink she'd have in the house. It was really funny. And she'd give it to us with these hard plastic straws and they were terrible. <laughs> Me ex from Cork would say Thursday, <laughs> right? I'll meet on Thursday. Sure. Right. Uh, what's the address? 343 West 40 Tard. <laughs> It's very charming. Of course, we're all losing our regionalities. 
Uh, cause people now say forest Hills. Are you from forest Hills? That one drives me because it's Forest Hills, F-A-H-R-E-S-T. That's what New Yorkers say. If you ask anybody from Forest Hills, they say them from Forest Hills. They're not going to go, I'm from Forest Hills. The only person who says forest is somebody who's an elf or, or a pixie or a sprite. And they've, you know, they're, they're, you know, their apparitions are in the, the, the forest, in an old kind of Grimm's fairy tale. In the forest, deep in the forest. It's Forest Hills. Anyway, that's my time. We're 25 minutes over the hour. Who knew it could go that fast? So let's thank everybody who is a Patreon. Let me, let me, let me get them rolling. The Patreon Pantheon, they are as follows. Jim Lassick, Andrew Wokowicz, Gomoda Soto, and the Nixis Doe. Complicated time, Fergal McDermott, Nathaniel Hannon, and Dana O. Mally Lord H, Scotty Pie, Dizzy McKenzie, Al Bandadead Eye, Angelo Michello, and the Brand Newton. He's Gas Man 308. Thank you guys for being patrons. I'm so unbelievably grateful for all of the incredible uh, support and, and love that you bring to the channel every single time I appear on here. Uh, it is my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world. I love and, uh, and worship each and every single one of you. Let's thank the Super Chatters today. They are Andrew, Dean, Lufus, RP1960, Carolyn, Martin. Welcome, Paul Colin. You've become a big member of the channel. We love you guys. Uh, Jim Lassick, legendary. Nathaniel, any, did you say, does anybody ever call you Nate or Nathaniel? Do you ever allow a diminutive? Tom Rogers, Tom Rogers is riding tonight. And a, a great song from Yellow Brick Road, Roy Rogers. Nobody ever talks about it. Sergeant 03331, I'm very excited that you're here. Uh, he's selling his Brightlings, his Heritage Super Ocean, his GP Seahawk, and he's got his, his, he's got his mind made up. It's going to be a Hulk or a fat lady. Soon we're not going to be able to say fat lady. Thank you so much for that. And Travis Watts, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, thank you so much for being here and being a part of my daily bashers. My name is Dirk. I come to you on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then with the big guy on Friday for classic eye bashers. I return normally on Mondays for watch fashion police. So let me ask you to please always say the following things. Remember to say please and thank you. Remember to hold the door open. Remember that the person you're talking to might be having a bad day. So maybe pour a little extra sugar on it because you never know what kind of day they've had. And they might be a terrific person underneath. All Don't get frustrated so fast. And if you find out that that person is not so nice, uh, only use expletives and bad words if you think they're a total clown.